the definition of probabilistic channel models in a digital communication system, in some cases, different elements of the communication system are included in the definition of the channel, in addition uh, to the physical channel. This is the case of the digital channel. In addition to the physical channel, the modulator and the demodulator and the encoder and the detector are also included in the definition of the channel. Therefore, the digital channel is the channel that is seen between the transmitted symbols and the received symbols in a digital communication system. Now we are going to analyze this digital channel. In the probabilistic definition of the digital channel, the input X is the symbol that is transmitted at discrete instant M, and the output Y is the estimation of the symbol that is transmitted in the same discrete instant. Taking into account the one-to-one -one relationship between symbols and vector representations of these symbols, the input can also be considered the vector representation of the symbol at n and the output can also be understood as the vector representation of the symbol at the same discrete instant. Therefore, both the input X and the output Y will have the same alphabet, the alphabet of the symbols or maybe the alphabet of the vectors that represent these symbols. It is an alphabet of capital M symbols in general. And the probabilistic model that is used to represent the digital channel is the discrete memoryless channel that is providing a conditional distribution of the output of the channel given the input. And the characterization of a discrete memoryless channel is very simple. It is necessary to know the alphabet of the input, in general, mx values, the alphabet of the output, in general, my values, and the conditional distribution of the output given the input. This is a set of mx times my values. These values, these conditional probabilities that are also called in some cases transition probabilities, the conditional probability of the output given the input, in some cases are grouped in a matrix that is called the channel matrix. And in this channel matrix, we will have the same value of the input in uh, a row and the same value of the output in a column. Because of the definition of the conditional distributions, all the elements in a row must add up to 1, because we have the addition of every element of y for the same value of x. Another alternative representation for these transition probabilities is an arrow or trellis diagram. In this case, we have arrows between every possible symbol that we have in the input to every possible symbol that we have in the output and the arrows have labels and these labels are the conditional probabilities of the corresponding output given the corresponding input. Again, because of the definition of a conditional probability, all the arrows uh, that go out of the same uh, input, in this case from x0, will have labels that must add up to 1. When the discrete memoryless channel is applied to model the digital channel, the alphabet of the input is equal to the alphabet of the output, capital M values, the symbols that are transmitted. And the transition probabilities are basically the probability of deciding a given symbol or its vector representation given that another symbol was transmitted. And in these transition probabilities, we have accuracies when the decision is equal to the symbol that was transmitted, and we also have error probabilities when the decision is different than the symbol that was transmitted. In an ideal situation, the transition matrix and the arrow diagram will be as follows. In this case, the channel matrix or the transition matrix is an identity matrix because the accuracies are in the diagonal of this matrix and the 
error probabilities are out of this main diagonal. And an ideal uh, arrow diagram will contain arrows that go from the same symbol in the input to the same symbol in the output, with a weight equal to 1 for these arrows. Now we will see an example about how to compute these transition probabilities in a, a given communication system. In this case, we have a system with a constellation of four symbols, minus three, minus one, plus one, plus three, and these are the, the decision regions for equiprobable symbols, just decision regions given by three thresholds at zero, minus two, and plus two. And these are the decision regions with different colors, and the transition probabilities in the channel matrix will be these ones. Here, by columns, we have the probabilities of deciding a given uh, symbol. A0 in orange, A1 in red, A2 in green, A3 in cyan. And these values in the uh, channel matrix can be obtained in a very simple way. When we transmit a0 will have the elements of the first row. In this case, the conditional probability of the observation when we transmit A0 is a Gaussian center at this symbol, in this case at minus 3. And the transition probabilities are the probabilities of this distribution taking values in the different decision regions. And it is straightforward to compute these values using the Q function. And in this case, these integrals provide the transition probabilities that we have in the first row of the, uh, of the channel matrix. In the second row, we have the case where the second symbol, A1, is transmitted. Now, the conditional observation has a Gaussian distribution whose mean is the transmitted symbol, in this case, minus 1. And again, the integral of the Gaussian in the different decision regions that can be obtained easily with the Q function, will provide the transition probabilities, the elements that we have in the second row. And this is repeated for the third row, where we have the third symbol. Now the Gaussian distribution of the observation has mean plus one, the value of A2, and the integral of this Gaussian in the different decision regions obtained easily with the Q function are the corresponding transition probabilities of the third row. And in the last row, we have the situation where the fourth symbol is transmitted, A3. The conditional distribution now is a Gaussian center at plus 3, the symbol that is transmitted. And the transition probabilities, again, can be easily computed with the Q function. They correspond to the integrals of this Gaussian distribution in the different decision regions. Thank you.